Hey there, first year. <laughs> I wasn't trying to hustle you before, honest. Did you uh, figure out how I did it though? If you really want your 50 mirror back, I'll be happy to hand it over. But wouldn't you rather feel like you earned it? Come on, what do you say? Not bad. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to figure it out so quickly. Yep, spot on. And a promise is a promise, so here's your 50 mirror bag. Uh, sorry, I've only got 10 mirror on me. Oh, really? Well, that's mighty generous. Hey! Stop trying to leech money off innocent first years, you louse. Oh, crap. It's the she-devil. Irene, I take it. I've been hearing all about you from Toa and George. Sounds like you pulled off some pretty amazing stuff in your field study last month. Same. I'm Angelica, Angelica Rogner. Glad I could finally make your acquaintance. Same reaction every time, I swear. Yeah, I'm his unworthy daughter. But he doesn't really want to have anything to do with me since I go around dressed like this. Uh, I think it's less how you dress and more how you behave. Where are you going on that bike at this hour anyway? Oh, George finally finished tuning the Orwell engine. So I figured I'd give it a run to the capital and back and see how it holds up. Ah, 
sure must be nice not to have a care in the world. <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> well, catch you later. I'm thinking of putting in a request for you sometime. If I do, I'd sure appreciate a swift response. Huh. Lost for words? That's a little something George put together a while back. He calls it an orbital bike. Pretty cool, huh? Nah. The Ruhr Institute of Technology started putting that one together as part of a test. Then George finished it off. Jellica put up the money for the parts herself. Oh, but Toa and I helped out too. Well, we're all from different classes, but we've kind of stuck together for a while now. Come to think of it, I never did introduce myself, did I? Name's Crow Armbrust, second year, class five. I'm sure I'll catch you around again. Later.